three open. We had a crash here. All lanes reopened. You've got four wide at Park Lawn now. And delays from the 427 on the East Gardner all the way through to Park Lawn. Really heavy from Jameson to Jarvis. Now, traffic spotters mentioning that's just uh, slow. And then northbound DVP is in good shape. Southbound slow still. Elga Mills to 16th and Finch to Richmond. It is breaking apart on the DVP southbound. West Gardner, no issues. QEW, westbound slow. Four drive to Trafalgar. Uh, not really anything worth mentioning on the uh, eastbound side. A bit busy through Walker's line. But slow Toronto bound from Fruitland to Fairview. But once you're past that Burlington Skyway, it's pretty good. Uh, issues on the north 427 at Dixon. It's a crash. Two right lanes are blocked off. OPP still on scene. couple of transport trucks involved, it looks like. Delays from Bradford in the express. 401 is pretty typically slow. Uh, Nielsen to Kennedy westbound, 404 to Avenue, and eastbound from the 427 to Keel. For a limited time at Leon's, get 50% off specials throughout the showroom, plus 50 equal monthly payments. OAC, visit leons.ca for details. With the forecast, Jill Taylor. Mainly sunny for most areas today, just a light wind out of the northwest, our guaranteed high 21 degrees. Tonight mainly clear and down to 9, even cooler outside the city. For today, the guaranteed high 21. Right now, we've got lots of sunshine downtown and 14 degrees. City News Time 1003. This just in the City News 680. Toronto police say a man has been taken to hospital after being attacked by a man with a brick on board a bus. It happened near Dufferin and Eglinton. Paramedics say the victim suffered non-life-threatening injuries. Police say the suspect ran off. Stay with City News 680 for more on this developing story. Well, there's a new report from the union representing hospital staff in this province, and it is not good, highlighting the staffing shortages in many of our hospitals. Steve Caitlin Lee reports. QB's Ontario Council of Hospital Unions warning the current health care crisis will only worsen over the next three years. Under the current Ford government plan, they've been slowly releasing numbers by region in a new report called No Capacity, No Plan, No Ed that shows a dramatic increase in job vacancy rates, worsening staffing levels, and other trends they consider troubling. This as the pressures of a growing and aging population take a toll. We're getting more details from Queen's Park this morning. Caitlin Lee, City News. You are listening to City News 680. We now know when the province is going to begin rolling out those flu shots and when the COVID vaccine will arrive. The flu shot is set to go out to the most vulnerable populations starting later this month. It will then be available to the general public six months and older beginning October 30th. The province says it expects to start receiving doses of Moderna's updated COVID vaccine later on this month. More details will be announced on those when they arrive. Health officials say at some point you will eventually be able to get the flu shot and the COVID booster at the same time. Bonnie Crombie plans to step aside as Mississauga's mayor to focus on the Liberal leadership campaign. Crombie and the others will take part in a debate tonight. Our Kevin Pop Meisner is at Queen's Park with a preview. Tonight is the first chance for a face-to-face -face battle of the candidates hoping to become leader of the Ontario Liberal Party. Five debates will be held between now and early December when a winner will be announced and the first goes tonight in Thunder Bay. And just as the leadership race starts to gain speed, Mississauga Mayor Bonnie Crombie is hanging up her chain of office. As of October 7th, Crombie will take a leave of absence as Mississauga Mayor to focus her attention on the bid to lead the Ontario Liberals. The winner will be chosen December 2nd at Toronto's Metro Convention Centre. The other contenders for Liberal leadership are MPs Nader Skin Smith and Yasser Nakvi along with MPPs Adil Shamji and Ted Shu at Queen's Park, Kevin Meisner, City News. Well, the first week of school may be in the rearview mirror, but for some